So here you can see when I double click, it will open one black screen to start web ID tool. So it will start this tool. So what you do is without closing, just click on minimize. So you get one black screen like this. What you do is just click on minimize option. So as long as you work on web ID in your system, you need to make sure that this is opened and minimized. So this is going to start web ID tool inside your system. Right, so now I'm trying to minimize this window. Just double click, just double click and minimize. Wait for some time and minimize. But before that, what you do is you can also right click here and send to desktop as a shortcut icon. First time after installing or after extracting zip file, you can do this. So that next time onwards from desktop itself, you can open that window and you can minimize. This is to create shortcut icon for Orient file. OK, so now here you can see under Eclipse folder, double click on Orient file, minimize Orient file window. Don't close it, just minimize. That's very important. So you'll get this. So this window should appear in minimum a minimized state as long as you work on Web ID tool. So after that, what you do is you need to connect to SAP Web ID tool. Connect to SAP Web ID tool. Open Google Chrome browser. This is recommended. For developing theory applications through Web ID tool, Google Chrome is recommended. You can use other browsers, Firefox, Internet Explorer. You can use any browser, but Google Chrome is recommended. It's a recommended browser. So open that and open with open below link. So let me open that here. So open Google Chrome. Here you can use this one localhost 8080 web dot. You need to use this. Let me copy this. HTTP colon double slash local host. We have installed Web ID locally, so select local host colon 8080, that's a port number, web ID slash index.html. So this is the URL which will help you to connect to web ID tool. So here you can see that. After press enter, you'll get this screen. You'll get this screen. And here, first time, you need to create an account and remember that account. If you forget that account, then you need to reinstall WebID. There will be a problem with local installation. So 
create an account, note down somewhere, and remember that next time onwards, use that same account to connect to Web ID too. So create new account here. Only first time you need to do this. Create new account for SAP Web ID tool by selecting this option. Okay, so when you click on new account, it will ask for username, password, confirmation password, and email address. So you can provide all these details and click on sign up. So go to this in Google Chrome, open this URL and click on, okay, press enter. Click on create new account. Every day you need not create, just create only once and use that account from next time onwards. Create new account, provide username and provide password. In your case, when you create new account, you can have your own details at this level. But please remember that account details. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Then click on sign up. I think here there is one option, sign up. In my case, I've already created account, so I'm not proceeding. But in your case, just click on sign up. After that, here you can see option for sign in that's the first option you need to select this so here this is the option for sign in Okay, let me click on this. And now you need to provide your account details here, which you have provided and click on sign in. So if the login is successful, then you will get a Web ID tool. Now you can see it is opening SAP Web ID tool. By default, you'll get this home screen. This is a development screen. This is home screen. This is something like settings. But what you need to do is by default, you'll get this. Welcome to Web ID, and that's a home screen here. You can find this. In browser, when you're using this link, by default, you'll get one home screen 
welcome to web id and you'll get some options the same options you can also find it here This is like welcome screen for SAP Web ID tool. So if the screen is open, that means your Web ID tool is successful. If the screen is open, if your home screen is opened here, then I can say your Web ID tool is successfully installed. Now. If welcome screen is open, then we can assume that SAP Web ID tool is successfully installed. We can assume that Web ID tool is successfully installed when you get that home screen like this. But if you want to create projects, you'll go to this development workspace, we'll create projects from here. We are going to do that from the coming uh, coming sessions. So home screen, when you get this home screen that indicates web ID tool is success. So you can go to development workspace, right click and create your projects. From the next session, we are going to do that. Okay, so that is part of step three. We have created account and we have connected to web ID tool. Now step four is we need to configure settings. That is we need to configure service destination file. As part of procedure, you need to do this and you need to configure host file. So configuring service destination file, you can ignore this because under web ID zip file, it's already pre-configured. So you need not do this. When you download Web ID tool from Google Drive, that zip file internally contains pre-configured settings that is for service destination file. In general, you need to configure two files, service destination file, and you need to configure host file. But service destination file in your system, you need not configure. You can completely ignore this because Web ID zip file internally, it's already pre-configured with this service destination file. So the only thing that is left over is host file. Just you need to configure host file, that's it. So here, you can see web ID, that is Orient file, and you can see there is configuration master service destination, destinations under that you can see there is EH7. So these files by default, you will get it if you try to download web ID tool from Google Drive, which I am going to provide. So you need not worry about service destination file in your system because it's already pre-configured with all the backend server settings. So you'll get that by default. Don't disturb this. So EH7 is our service destination file. You can see service destination name EH7 for connecting to backend ehp7.training.com 8007 is a port number 
So these are some of the main options that are already pre-configured. Generally, basis administrator will do it for you. In, in your system, you need not worry about this at all because it's already available when you extract a zip file. It contains some settings. Just let me highlight that. Your backend server name, port number, and the name of that system, and other options, ODATA usage, and other options will be available here. Under C directory, web ID, Eclipse, configuration master, service destination, under destination folder, you'll find this. So service destination EH7, it's pre-configured, so you can practice with this. In your system, don't do this, just ignore it. Now, the only thing is you need to configure host file. That is open below path in your system. Here you can see under C directory, there is Windows System 32 drivers. ETC, under that you can see there is host file. Copy this host file and paste it on desktop. So that's a path, under that you'll find host file. Copy this and paste it on desktop. That's a system file. Please remember, this is a system file. It's not a note file. When you make changes, you need to open as note file, but you need to save it as a default system file. Okay, let me right click here, copy this and go to desktop, paste it here. After pasting on desktop, make changes here. You can make changes here. And make sure that this setting is available. 122.175.13.217.hp7.training.com. So this is must if you want to practice all the theory examples through WebID tool. Without succeeding this configuration, you can't develop any project. You can't create any theory project. You cannot consume more data service. So compulsory, this setting must be available. As it is, try to configure this. Add. So that, that is technically mapping. Mapping IP address with server name. Add this entry as it is. That is nothing but we are mapping IP address with server name. Inside host file. This is just a screenshot. Don't save this file in your system. You have to do it manually in your system. This is just a screenshot. So after adding this entry, what you do is just click on save. When you click on save, it will save it as original system file. If you click on save as, it will save it as a text file. This should be a system file, not a text file. So don't click on save as here. 
don't click on save as just click on 